part of the evolution of the HVA280 uh, family, and this is uh, showing one of the areas in which we've uh, been trying to innovate. Uh, earlier on, uh, maybe about 2006, we created a product. This is our older product, which is the HVA400. It's an inline connector that was designed uh, to provide power to a uh, um, air conditioning compressor. I mentioned that there are several systems that you need to be able to power even when the internal combustion, combustion engine isn't running. Uh, the air conditioning compressor is one of them, and that's what this was designed for. Uh, as I mentioned, there is, in a lot of these uh, electrified vehicles, there is a um, high-voltage interlock loop circuit. What you see on top, uh, piggyback to this connector, is a low-voltage connector which has a loop circuit uh, in it. And in this older style of connector, to make sure that you disconnect it safely and that the high-voltage interlock loop was broken first, you know, to set, signal the battery and tell it to shut down, uh, open up its contactors. Um, for this old style, you would have to unmate this connector. That would uh, signal the battery to shut down and go through multiple additional steps, including pressing a switch there and then getting the tool and uh, unlocking the connector, which, while effective, made for a very laborious, you know, type of a process, and it's just plain big. So what we did in the next step on our HVA280 system is we took that high voltage interlock loop and we moved it inside the connector. So now instead of having a piggyback connector, we have, I don't know if you can see it, but inside the connector there is a small shunt that is located between the high voltage conductors. And we have that staged so that as you separate these two connectors, that high voltage shunt will separate first prior to the, the uh, high voltage conductors uh, separating. What that does is allows for a delay. And what we've also done is we have created a two-stage latch. And, and what's really kind of innovative here is the fact that we were able to take all that complexity and move it into the area of where a standard latch would be. So as you go and you unmate the connectors, you first depress the first latch, which separates the HVIL. Now the battery is shutting down. And now the user has to go get their tool, screwdriver, paper clip, whatever, depress it and finish off the operation. So there is a delay that's realized between the separation of the HVIL, the high voltage interlock loop, and the uh, high voltage conductors, thereby assuring again that you don't get a destructive arc when you separate the connectors and that there isn't live high voltage. Now here again, I, I spoke about redundancy in design. If you do somehow defeat all those other uh, safeties and manage to get a connector separated uh, with live high voltage, we always design everything so that it's touch safe. There are standards for establishing what is a touch-safe design, and you can't get any of the high-voltage conductors with a finger once they're separated.